Hi, I'm the scrub and you're here for one reason. I want to seduce the dragon. But for the last time, it is Nidhogg, not Horace Velgar. You cannot seduce this dragon. But I really want to seduce the dragon. <sighs> Fine, roll for it. Oh, nat one. <laughs> Good. Time to learn about the final steps of faith. Simplified. The Scarlet Whisper is a cleaving tank buster, so don't stand with the tank. Deafening Bellow is a room-wide AoE. Players will get this Dark Eye underneath their characters. It is just a point-blank AoE. Move out of it to dodge it. Hot Wing will have two large straight-line AoEs that extend from Nidhogg's wings and will encompass the rest of the arena, with the only safe zone being a narrow straight-line area inside of Nidhogg's wings. If you get hit by this, it will give you a burn debuff for 30 seconds. Nidhogg will jump up from the arena and become untargetable. He will reappear at one side of the arena and cast Cauterize, which is marked with his fire glowing cleave to one half of the battlefield. If you get hit with this, it will more than likely one-shot you if you aren't a tank or have any defensives up, so just move away from the straight line AoE. When Nidhogg returns to the arena, he will create a small room-wide AoE. Mechanics will repeat until you get Nidhogg below 75% health, where he will disappear and summon three adds. Tanks will need to take the left and right adds and point them towards the wall, as both of these adds will do cleaving tank busters. The middle ad will not have an aggro meter. It will aimlessly run around the arena and target random party members. If it raises its hand, it will swipe in an untelegraphed small conal AoE and give everyone hit by this debuff a damage down for 15 seconds. So if it moves and stands in front of you, just move through it or to the side to dodge the swipe. I would highly recommend bursting down the adds on the outside before focusing gun the one in the middle. As soon as you defeat all three adds, Nidhogg will knock everyone back and perform his ultimate called Final Chorus before reappearing in the arena. A la Mort is a tank buster. Gia Skurgle is a straight line AoE. Draken Lance is a cleaving auto attack so everyone stay away from the tank. Nidstinium will jump into the air and target several players, noted by these markers with a red ring around them, called High Jump. Spread out to avoid overlapping these and don't walk back into them after they go off as they will leave a puddle on the ground that will give you an assunerable bleeding debuff. While this is happening, one player in the party will have a proximity marker put at their feet. Everyone will need to move away from this pulsating marker to reduce the damage dealt. While you are running away from the marker, the Shadows of Dinstinian will perform Geoscogle straight line AoEs. Just try and dodge your way to the closest safe zone as best you can. After everything resolves, Nidhogg will return to the fight. The Red Ring AoEs will repeat, just spread out to avoid putting them in the middle of the arena. Nidhogg will then disappear and repeat the cauterized mechanic. Following this, Nidhogg will return to the arena and become engulfed in a flaming aura. Arkmorn is a multi-hit stack marker. Stay stacked up to soak the damage of every hit with the party and healers be ready with those big heals. There will be three fireballs that will spawn on the ground first underneath him, then occasionally around the arena. They will explode after a few seconds in a cross-like pattern that will always go north, south, and east, west. Right before they go off, some players will get the Black Eye AoE at their feet. Don't run into the cross to avoid the AoE as you might not make it back out. It's better to stand in the fireball area to first drop the AoE, then move out of the fireball cross to avoid both mechanics. Right after this, Nidhogg will perform Hot Wing, followed by Hot Tail, which is a straight line AoE through the middle of Nidhogg where the original safe zone was for Hot Wing. If you get hit by this, it will also give you the burn debuff. Mechanics will repeat until Nidhogg has been defeated. Congratulations, you have defeated Nidhogg. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.